Google Android Operated Smart Home by C. Divya, V. Anupama, S. Ramatrija and R. Shweta. The project aims in designing a system which makes operating of electrical appliances at home through Android mobile phone possible. The controlling of electrical appliances is done wirelessly through Android smartphone using the Bluetooth feature present in it. Here in this project, the Android smartphone is used as a remote control for operating the electrical appliances. Android is a software stack for mobile devices that includes an operating system, middleware and key applications. Android boasts a healthy array of connectivity options including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and wireless data over a cellular connection. Android provides access to a wide range of useful libraries and tools that can be used to build rich applications. In addition, Android includes a full set of tools that have been built from the ground up alongside the platform providing developers with high productivity and deep insight into their application. Bluetooth is an open standard specification for radio frequency short range connectivity technology that promises to change the face of computing and wireless communication. It is designed to be an inexpensive wireless networking system for all classes of portable devices such as laptops, PDAs and mobile phones. It also enables wireless connections for desktop computers, making connections between monitors, printers, keyboards and the CPU KBC. The controlling device of the whole system is a microcontroller. Bluetooth module, four relay boards and GLCD display are interfaced to the microcontroller. The data received by the Bluetooth module from Android smartphone is fed as input to the controller. The controller acts accordingly on the relays to switch the connected electrical appliances. In achieving the task, the controller is loaded with a program written using embedded C language. The, the project overview. An embedded system is a combination of software and hardware to perform a dedicated task. Some of the main devices used in embedded products are microprocessors and microcontrollers. Microprocessors are commonly referred to as general purpose processors as they simply accept the input, process it and give the output. In contrast, a microcontroller not only accepts the data as input but also manipulates it, interfaces the data with various devices, controls the data and thus finally gives the result. The Google Android operated smart home using PIC16F73 microcontroller is an exclusive project which is used for automatic controlling of devices depending on the input given to Google Android mobile phone using Bluetooth wireless technology. The, the block diagram of the Google Android operated smartphone is given here. We have a Bluetooth module, a crystal oscillator, a reset button and an, and an LCD. This is the microcontroller and here are the relays connected. The relays are now connected to the devices through which through which, which the, the electronic devices to be controlled are present. These are the LED indicators used in, in near the relays and this is the application on the Android phone that is used. Major building blocks of the project. Microcontroller, regulated power supply, crystal oscillator, LED indicator, relay and Bluetooth. We will let us now see the various parts of the kit used on the kit. Microcontroller. The microcontroller used in this project is PIC from Microchip Incorporation. This is the regulated power supply. The PIC microcontrollers require a 5 volt DC for its operation. The aim of this block is to convert 230 volts AC household supply to 5 volts DC. This is the crystal oscillator used. The maximum operating frequency of PIC microcontrollers is 20 MHz. The crystal oscillator used in this project is because of the fact that the crystal is more stable to temperature than other types of oscillators. Here are the LED indicators that we use in this project. 
LEDs are widely used as indicator lights on electronic devices and increasingly in high power applications such as flashlights and area lighting. In this project, LED indicators are used to show microcontroller health status and indications for various operations. The LEDs used in the project works with 2 volts 10 nma. These are 4 relays that we use in this project. Relay is an electrically operated switch whose operation depends upon the electromagnetic effects of current flowing in an energizing windy. Relay is used for controlling high voltage devices using low voltage signal. It controls the high voltage devices such as lamps, fans, water pumps, circuit breakers, etc. This is the Bluetooth module that we use in the project. Bluetooth was originally a cable replacement technology. The Bluetooth system operates in 2.4 GHz Industrial Scientific Medicine ISM unlicensed band. The key features of Bluetooth are its robustness, low complexity, low battery and low power consumption. Let us now look at how the kit works. Now we see how the kit operates. This is the application on on the, this is the application on the Android phone. It says on off to each of the devices that appear over over here in the kit. We have a fan, an electric switch port, and two ports for bulbs to be connected, where one bulb is connected presently. When when a button is clicked. When a button is clicked on the application, say suppose if I click on D2 of the application. Now when I am clicking on D2 on in the application, you can see that the second device on the kit that is the bulb glows. Now when I say click off, it's off. Now suppose we have to switch on the fan which is D4. Now when I click on D4, the fan starts rotating and when I say off, the fan gets switched off. Now we see that when there is when a button is clicked on the application, the Bluetooth the, the phone communicates with the Bluetooth module on the system, which in turn gives the input to the microcontroller. Now the microcontroller makes use of the relays and the power supply to give power supply to the device which is which has to be operated now. This is how each device has its choose and worked upon. Let us now look at the advantages of using such a, such a kit. The advantages are controlling of AC devices wirelessly through mobile phone, usage of Android touchscreen smartphone in performing the task, Bluetooth wireless transmission, manual operation elimination, monitoring and controlling is possible through, from a distance, efficient and low cost design, low power consumption. Some of the disadvantages are interfacing high voltage devices, the Bluetooth microcontroller module is sensitive and also that because we use Bluetooth here, uh, you cannot control these devices from a very large distance. For, for extending the project, you can use GSM. Various applications of the project are in pharma industries, at homes, in chemical labs, in power grid stations and in substations. Result, the Google, the, the Google Android operated smart home was designed such that any device of electrical home appliances at home can be controlled using the Android mobile phone. The controlling of electrical appliances is done wirelessly through Android smartphone using the Bluetooth feature present in it. Here in this project, Android smartphone is used as a remote control for operating electronic appliances. Conclusion Integrating features of all hardware components used has been developed in this. Presence of every module has been reasoned and placed carefully, thus contributing to the best working of the unit. Secondly, using highly advanced integrated circuits with the help of growing technology, the project has been successfully implemented. Future Scope our project Google Android Operated Smart Home is mainly intended to control electronic home appliances using the smartphone. This project has a 
Bluetooth module of four relay boards to connect the home electrical appliances which are interfaced to the microcontroller. The microcontroller is programmed in such a way that depending on the data received from the Google Android mobile phone, the devices are operated that is will be switched on or automatically based on the input received by the Bluetooth module. This project can be extended by adding ZigBee module and GSM module. ZigBee module can be used to monitor and control appliances of multiple devices like fans, lights, colors, coolers, etc. CSM module can be used to monitor the future devices which are being operated from anywhere in the world.